Or if you slice off a finger, we can get that too. Even better, right? You like the... Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a knife. It's like a crocodile, crocodile Dundee knife. So we're, uh, we're back and because it's warming up and it's May, uh, we decided to do some, some warm weather classics, the, uh, the gin and tonic. And because we're trying not to be boring, we're gonna do uh, each of us a separate variation on the classic, right? Yeah, we got the, uh, the idea from uh, a coworker here to do some gin and tonics, but to spruce it up a little bit, we figured why not uh, add a little flavor to it? So yeah. Ben and I are going to try uh, two different recipes. You're going more more strawberry e, and I'm going more pineapple e. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, no, it sounds good. I know you uh, you just pulled your stuff off the grill. Do you want to do the honors and go first here? Yeah. So mine actually did call for grilled pineapple. Um, so I cut up some pineapple here uh, and actually grilled it. This is probably the most intricate uh, gin and tonic that uh, that I have ever made. Uh, so I'm going to do a version of that. Uh, and uh, what about you? Did you grill any of those strawberries or, or no? No, these are just normal, everyday <laughs> kind of strawberries. <laughs> All right. So something new too. So I'm going to constantly look at my phone here to see how to do this. But um, so I have everything kind of pre-made. Um, I'm actually going to muddle my uh, pineapple. Uh, I got a Morton pestle here to so work that through a little bit. I think you're gonna do the same too, right Ben? Yeah, I'm gonna do mine uh, on the cheap. I've got my my spoon that's got the little um, thing on the bottom that I can smash stuff with. So we'll, we'll be doing that. You get the fancy mortar and press. Is that what that's for? That's what that's for. Yeah, a little thing on the yeah. bottom. That's for brushing stuff up in your glass. So yeah, you, yeah. you learn, you learn that's, something that's new every day. Point. You're supposed to muddle it up. I did not know that. There you go. All right. So, it's going in. Fresh grilled pineapple. Got that. Good. A little extra pineapple juice, or recipe calls for. All right. Then, our gin. Yeah, we're using the same gin today, right? We just got the uh, tank array. Exactly. Mine is now uh, used twice, even though I bought this thing about 10 years ago. So, all good. So I think I got my most of my components in here. Um, I don't know if you want to start mixing yours up or what are your thoughts there? Yeah, sure. So with mine, it's basically a similar story, only we're using strawberries. So I've got some cut up strawberries here that I did before we got on camera. I think I've got some B-roll I can show of that now. And then I'm just gonna toss these on in here. And uh, these are three, three strawberries. I mean, they look a little large. I don't know if you want to do this many strawberries, but it's what the recipe calls for. Uh, and then the odd ingredient in this one, and this is where I'm a little, uh, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. We've got black pepper. So I take <laughs> black pepper, it says give it a liberal, a liberal turn with the black pepper. And then we're going to muddle that guy up right in the glass. So. No, this is making for some terribly boring video. Maybe <laughs> maybe uh, when you recut this, you could just speed it up, you know? Oh, yeah, no, I'll speed it up. Starting starting now, we'll speed it up. <laughs> now, you don't have to speed up the actual muddling. You just, you just actually need to speed up the video later. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we got muddled uh, black pepper strawberries on my end. You want to finish your guy off? Yeah, so I put up a slice of grilled pineapple. I did about a shot of pineapple juice. I'm gonna do a splash of uh, lime juice just to kind of cut that sweetness up a little bit. Put some ice in, and then mine actually calls for, for some shaking of these. Uh, how about on your end, Ben? On my end, it's just a stir. So we're gonna, put the, uh, we'll put the uh, stuff in here in a second and stir it up. Go ahead. I don't know if you can hear me when I'm doing this, so. Yeah, all right. So I am good there. That just looks like uh, pure juice. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's so thick that the, uh, it's not even coming out of the strainer there. 
So your drink is going to be chewy. I think mine probably is in the same boat, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm at least straining mine, so. Uh... All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and throw in my, my here. I'm going to do uh, a double in this glass. So we're doing uh, about three ounces of gin. And then you stir it in with the actual ice and you top it off with the uh, tonic water. So I'll stir in the ice now and, and we'll have the tonic water here in just a second. All right, while he's mixing his, uh, I am ready for my tonic water. So I have some ice and I'll just top off with some tonic without overflowing too much. All right, I'm gonna toss in my tonic, just a splash at the very top. Now, gin and tonic, I think is always just kind of your own taste. It started off a little too strong, sip it down a little bit, and add some more tonic. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm more of a 50-50 guy with the gin and tonic. Uh, I like the, uh, the tonic flavor, so. I can see the black peppercorn literally like floating around in there. So that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> that first spice. The first uh, sip will be very spicy. <laughs> the, uh, did you throw your garnish on there? Uh, I was yeah. just about to. I saw you were doing the same. All right. Wow, this looks a lot better than I think it's probably going to taste, but we'll find out. <laughs> All right. All right. Salud. Cheers. Time to drink together. <clears throat> that is um, actually not a, that's less sweet than I thought it was going to be. It's actually quite good. <clears throat> <laughs> you know, it's good. It's really good. Um, pepper? That cough actually wasn't from the black pepper. It was from the fact that I got a giant chunk of muddled strawberry. <clears throat> um, so maybe, uh, maybe a little less on the strawberry. Extremely good though. It does have kind of a little bit of a spice. Um, I actually really like this drink. It, it offsets the sweet just enough. Uh, it's super refreshing. So I would I would do this again. Yeah, that was in here. Nice, uh, nice refreshing drink. So uh, cheers. 